everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a bit different as you can probably tell because I've decided to film a Halloween day at home. Hopefully this angle is okay for you, I just didn't want to crouch down for however long this update would take. So yes, I put you there and I hope that it's okay. My morning hasn't gotten off to the best start because... I recently bought this really cute trick-or-treat mug from Asta and I've been saving it to use it closer to Halloween time and for this vlog and I made a nice cup of tea in it this morning only to find that it has a massive crack going through it so my tea instantly spilled out and went absolutely everywhere so I'm really angry with this the label is still on and everything I don't know if I can return it I don't know if I have the receipt but I'm really gutted I thought this was so cute and it's just ruined my morning straight away all is good now though I do have this mug instead it is a nightmare before Christmas mug and it looks like this which is really cute I just really wanted the trick-or-treat one anyway I honestly have no real plan as to how this vlog is going to go I just want to do a load of cozy spooky things and I can't actually do that on Halloween because Halloween is on a Sunday and that is the last day of half term for me before I go back into work on Monday as I am a teacher so I'm kind of saving Sunday as a prep day to make sure that everything is done and that I'm not stressed to go back into work because not gonna lie this week off has been lovely but you can probably tell I do have a cold it's not COVID. I have had a PCR test. I've just had a really bad cold and I'm not feeling the best. And I think it's because it's been such a busy first half term. I've barely stopped. I've been covering a lot of different teachers who have been ill with COVID and things like that. And I think as soon as I've stopped and taken some time for myself, it's all hit me like a ton of bricks. So please ignore that. I just want to make the most of today. I want to have a really nice spooky time. And I definitely think that's going to happen. One of my plans for today is to read this book. This is Bridge of Souls by Victoria Schwab and it's the third book in the Cassidy Blake series. I've read the first two books in this series on Halloween for the last two or three years depending on when the books came out and I've loved doing that so so much so I had to pick up this one for today. I haven't started it yet but the audiobook is on Scribd so I do think I'll be jumping between the physical copy and the audiobook as well. Just to help me read it in the one day I really do want to read this in its entirety which I think it's possible. It's quite a short book and yeah it's about 300 pages if that so definitely doable. And if you don't know, in this series we follow Cassidy Blake and after a traumatic incident in her childhood, she can now see and talk to ghosts. This is a bit of a problem though because her parents are actually ghost hunters and they are offered the opportunity to go to the most haunted cities around the globe and Cassidy goes with them. You can probably tell that chaos ensues and there are a couple of nasty ghosts around as well. So it's all about Cassidy dealing with that and trying to keep her secret, I suppose, hidden. This is such a fun middle grade series. This is the last book for now. Victoria did say that she might continue on with it but for now she is taking a break. But either way, I'm very excited to get to this one. It's set in New Orleans, which I love and I definitely think it's gonna give me those spooky vibes. Another thing I plan on doing is baking cookies. So I have some cookie cutters here. I have quite a few of them actually. And I thought, why not put them to good use? I love cookies and I think it'll just be a nice calming activity that will let me listen to my audiobook. And again, it will just put me in a really good mood. And I am hoping to enjoy them later on this evening because my cousin and her partner are coming round and we are going to do some pumpkin carving. So you can probably see that my pumpkin is there. Not quite sure what I want to do with it yet, but I might look at some designs over lunch or something like that and decide then. But yeah, essentially, I do have quite a busy day planned. I do also want to watch some Halloween films. My favourites are Twitches, Halloween Town, Hocus Pocus, The Nightmare Before Christmas. Coraline is another one that's not technically Halloween, but I love watching that film. It's one of my favourite ever films, so I will probably put that on at some point as well. And honestly, I'll just see where the day takes me. I don't have anything scheduled in. I definitely need to edit a video actually. I do have a Patreon exclusive video going up so I need to get on that. But yes, I'm very excited for this day. I'm sorry if this was a chaotic update but I wanted to get it filmed otherwise I would never start this vlog and I just thought it's easier now if I plonk you in my kitchen whilst I make a cup of tea. And oh, that's another thing actually. I am starting off this day with a Halloween-y type breakfast. So I was in the supermarket the other day when I spotted this. Now it's Shreddies which is one of my favourite cereals but guys it's a limited edition pumpkin spice flavor so I couldn't leave it there I had to pick up the box I don't actually know if it's gonna taste good but I haven't opened it so let's just do so now it's in the bowl it smells really good let's just do a taste test 
Mm. That is really nice. It's very strange because I only ever have pumpkin spice in my coffee. But that is definitely it, you guys. That is lovely. So I'm just going to pour some milk in this now. I'm going to sit down, munch on this, drink my tea, and start off my spooky day. Hi guys, so it is currently half past four, so I haven't updated you for a while, and I'm so sorry about that. I've essentially not been doing anything worth vlogging. All I've done is I bake the cookies like you saw, which actually turned out to be a disaster. I will pop a picture up on screen now, but yeah, they just did not want to cut the way I wanted them to. They just fell to pieces, so that was an ultimate fail, which is really sad, but I'm hoping that they taste good nonetheless. After that, I sat and read for a bit, and then I did finish editing my Patreon-exclusive vlog, which is a day in my life, and I really enjoyed that vlog, actually. So if you would like to check that out, I will leave the link to my Patreon down below for you guys. I will just say, though, it's available for the Ranger tier for this month only, and then from next month onward, it's only going to be available for the Elf and Wizard tiers. So just be mindful of that, but if you'd like to check it out, or maybe you didn't know that I had a Patreon and you want to see what all my tiers and benefits are, then you can definitely check out the link below. Whilst I've been doing those tasks, though, I have made... An incredible amount of progress in Bridge of Souls. So hopefully you can see on screen, but I only have about an hour and a half left, and I'm currently on chapter 20 of 28. Now, if I were to grab the actual book, I've read this much and only have this much left, so I'm on page 223, and like I said, I'm on chapter 20, so this will definitely be finished, probably before my cousin even gets here, to be fair. She is getting here for around five, but I've just said that it's half four, actually. We'll see. If not, I will finish it straight after she leaves. But yeah, they're coming around five, half five, I think she said. Her partner finishes work at five, so I might have time to finish it off, we'll see. But I am really enjoying this one so far, which is always good. I think that's why I've flown through it, it's because it's so easy to listen to, and it is a story that draws you in. You are connected to the characters by this point because it is the third book in a trilogy, and the stakes feel a little bit higher in this one. Even though it does follow the same structure, I suppose, as the first two, you kind of know how it starts, what the middle's going to be, and ultimately how it ends. I feel like this one is a little bit more high stakes. The threat in this is definitely a lot creepier and darker and I really do appreciate that because obviously these books are middle grade. They are meant to be for children so you obviously can't go into too much detail about these dark and gruesome things but I think Victoria does such an amazing job at doing so. Obviously not giving you too much to the point where children would not be comfortable reading this. It's done in a sort of fun but creepy way and I really do enjoy it. Oh my gosh I've just seen the state of my hair as well. I've literally just been on the phone to my hairdresser and they don't have any appointments now to sort out my hair until after Christmas. So I don't know whether to go with a salon that I've never been to before. I'll definitely have to do some more research because I hate going to new places. I found a salon that I love. I know the girls personally. They do my hair the way I like it and to go somewhere else would just kind of stress me out but I don't know how well you can see. My dark hair is now coming right through and I want to be blonde. Essentially I want the colour of the bottom of my hair all over but because it's a balayage it's kind of gradually getting darker so yeah. I really want to sort that out but now I'm kind of stressing so I might spend the next 20 minutes half an hour looking for a new salon but it's just kind of stressing me out now because <laughs> I honestly didn't think it would be bugged up till Christmas but the fact is I can only go to the salon on Saturdays because it takes about six hours to do my hair properly. It's so thick that yeah it just takes the longest time and so because I'm a teacher I don't finish work until half three. The salon closes at five six. It's not possible for me to go midweek and obviously salons are closed on Sundays and Mondays so the only day for me to go is Saturday and that's not an option now so <laughs> yeah a bit bummed about that not gonna lie but it's fine. I will have to go to somewhere else which like I said scares me but it's gotta be done because not being funny 
every time I look at myself now I feel kind of, I don't want to say minging, but I feel like my hair just looks awful and then because I think I look awful I feel rubbish in myself. So yes, I am definitely gonna have to sort that now, but this is a tangent you really did not need to hear, so <laughs> yeah, sorry about that, it's just something that has happened and I felt the need to talk about it. For now though, I'm gonna make sure that downstairs is all prepped, I really don't want a load of pumpkin everywhere, so I'm trying my best to keep everything organised and to have some sort of system where it's not the messiest pumpkin carving ever. If it is, obviously it's fine, I'll just clean it up afterwards, but I'd rather not. So I'm gonna sort that out, I'm also gonna see which film we want to watch so I can put that on ready, and I will probably just film a little time lapse of us carving the pumpkins just because I don't feel too comfortable vlogging in front of people and I don't want it to spoil the night, if that makes sense. If everyone's aware that they're being filmed, I think it's just gonna be a bit weird. So I will probably time lapse it, but I will give you guys a look at the pumpkins after we finish. And I think what we'll do as a little competition, you can let us know which pumpkin is best down in the comments. I think what I'll do is I'll take a picture of them if I can't film it, and then I will number them and you guys can comment the number of the pumpkins if you want, or just the general description of the pumpkins, I don't know. But I think that'll be fun and we can all put our pumpkin carving skills to the test. Right, I am going to leave this clip here so that I can go downstairs and sort myself out. Also, I forgot I was wearing my AirPods. I'm not actually listening to anything, but I've been wearing them all day because I've been doing stuff. But yeah, I'm off to carve some pumpkins now and I'm very excited. So it is the next day now, if you couldn't tell, but last night did not go to plan at all, and I really don't mind because we had such an amazing evening together. As you saw, we did carve our pumpkins, and whilst doing that, we did actually end up watching The Mummy, which is one of my favourite films, however, not really Halloween-y. But it was on Now TV, and we decided to give it a watch. And after that, for some reason, we decided to play Little Hope, which, if you don't know, is a horror game. I've played the first one, Man of Medan, and Little Hope before, but not with my cousin and her partner and they are terrifying guys and for someone who doesn't play Xbox to be given control of a character's life and having to do things quickly with the Xbox controller is just a nightmare for me so not only am I terrified of the game in general and the scary pop-ups and stuff like that but I also hate the pressure of being in control of a character so it was just a massive night of stress for me but all in all it was a very fun night we did have a few jump scares which was funny and it was just a very spontaneous thing to do so I'm glad we did it and I think that even though we were terrified we did all have a good time. As well as that, I did actually finish Bridge of Souls yesterday. Oh, the cover is going weird. I might just put it on the book. But yes, I did manage to finish Bridge of Souls yesterday as well, and the rating I gave this one was 3.5 stars. It's definitely not the best middle grade book or book in this series. Like I've said previously in this video, it does follow the same structure as the first two, so it is quite repetitive in the fact that you know how it's going to start, what's going to happen in the middle, and also how it's going to finish. But all in all, it was fun to be with these characters again, learn some more of New Orleans history and some of the dark things that happened there, and it did take us on a very wild and dark ride, so I do appreciate it for that, however, definitely not my favourite of the series. I do also want to quickly say I am so sorry about my mood yesterday. I don't know what it was, but watching it back, I realised just how deflated I look, and I kind of give off the vibe that I can't be asked, which is definitely not the case. I was so excited yesterday, but I think I mentioned at the start of the video that I wasn't feeling too good and I'm the type of person that will try and push through feeling ill as much as I possibly can and I think you can see how that affected me in those two clips I filmed so I'm really sorry about that I'm feeling worse today if anything but I've just filmed a video so I'm in the mood right now where I can film a proper clip and get it across to you guys as well but yeah yesterday was just a very weird time I suppose and I think you could definitely see that in the clip so I'm very sorry about that I really hope you enjoyed this video nonetheless less. I hope it got you into the spooky spirit ready for Halloween. Oh, and we do need to choose the winner of the pumpkin carving contest, so I will move out the way a little bit so that I can put the photo of the pumpkins up here for you guys. I should have numbered them from one to three, so look at the pumpkins, choose your favourite, and let me know which one it is down
down below. If you've also made it this far through into the video, please do leave me some pumpkin emojis in the comments. You guys have no idea how much seeing the emoji of the video means to me, and just the fact that you watch my videos through to the end blows me away in general. So please do that to let me know that you're here. Other than that though, guys, that is the end of today's vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to click the like button if you like this video, and the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content from me. Thank you so, so much for watching. It truly does mean the world to me, and I will see you soon in my next video. Goodbye!